Princess Charlotte stole the show while adorable Prince George looked typically serious as they joined their parents the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge at Prince Philip's service of Thanksgiving today. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge made the decision to bring their two eldest children to Westminster Abbey so they could pay their respects to their great-grandfather Prince Philip. The service marks one of the important outings to date for the two young royals, both of whom enjoyed a close relationship with Prince Philip before his death at the age of 99 last April. Princess Charlotte was accompanied by her parents Prince William and Kate Middleton at Prince Philip's memorial service at Westminster Abbey. The six-year-old royal charmed everyone with her impeccable behavior and smiles. And now, you can see the cute and sweet moments of Princess Charlotte have been recorded by us. Princess Charlotte had a big day yesterday as she was among the youngest guests at Prince Philip's memorial service. Her appearance at the event was her first outing at a public royal church service alongside her older brother Prince George. During the BBC live stream, the little princess seemed a lot more relaxed and when she and her mother met the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. As she made her grand entrance at Westminster Abbey, Princess Charlotte went on to charm the Archbishop of Canterbury and was all smiles for the world cameras. At one point the schoolgirl princess pulled a funny face after apparently catching sight of herself on a screen prompting viewers to giggle over her sparkling personality. She skillfully played with her charm and smiled broadly. Shaking hands like her parents was no longer a problem for Charlotte. It was clear the sister of the future king was on top form throughout the day. No doubt taking in the grandiose and overwhelming environment, Charlotte is the more inquisitive one out of her and her brother George. While both were very well behaved sat next to their parents in the church, Charlotte was seen looking around at everyone. Look back in 2019, Princess Charlotte has once again stolen the show and hearts around the world with her impeccable manners at the christening of baby brother Prince Louis. The three-year-old was seen confidently shaking hands with the Archbishop of Canterbury and the Dean of the Chapel Royal, the Right Reverend and Right Honourable the Lord Chartres before heading inside for the ceremony. And as she left the ceremony, the confident young royal showed off her sunny nature as she gave a cheery wave to crowds gathered outside the chapel at St. James Palace, carrying the large order of service under her arm. When the Cambridge family sat near the front of the abbey in a row in front of Prince William's cousins Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, who were accompanied by their husbands Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi and Jack Brooksbank, the pair were accompanied to the ceremony by their parents the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, and they were seen shaking hands with officials and joining in with the hymns. And an adorable moment was spotted between Charlotte and Beatrice as the congregation sang a hymn earlier today. Footage shows that as Charlotte gazed around the huge building as the congregation sang, the young princess caught the eye of Beatrice behind her. Body language and behavioral expert Darren Stanton said that, the shared smile showed a great relationship between the two, saying, It was fascinating to see how Beatrice sensed Charlotte's look in her direction and it suggests the two definitely share a deep bond with each other. Darren said, A really lovely moment occurred between Charlotte and Beatrice during the service. Charlotte was seen looking over her shoulder to try and catch Beatrice's eye, almost instantaneously Beatrice smiled. As the pair locked eyes, Beatrice gave an exaggerated smile to Charlotte, who in return gave a wide smile back to her dad's cousin. Footage shows the young princess jumping up in her seat after spotting herself and pulling a wry smile. After spotting the moment on TV, royal fans took to Twitter to share their delight at the cute moment. One wrote, they seem to have a special bond since always. Princess Charlotte is so cute. Looks like Charlotte looks up to her. Bless. While another said, oh that's just adorable. My heart went out to Beatrice today. She started to crumble when she saw her grandmother. She and Edo are a lovely couple. I had my doubts about him but I'm happy to have been proved wrong. He's a class act. While another right, I have a feeling they have always had a lovely relationship. A pic from Eugenie's wedding comes to mind. Meanwhile one added, absolutely beautiful. What a lovely exchange. No words needed. The look of love says it all. 
all those little family moments that give us memories. However, it wasn't the only sweet moment Charlotte had at today's ceremony. She also said hello another of the Queen's young great-granddaughters, Mia Tyndall. Following the ceremony, as Princess Charlotte made her way out of the Abbey alongside her parents Prince William and Kate, and brother Prince George, viewers got a small glimpse at cousin Mia Tyndall's excitement at seeing her walk past. And as they passed each other, Mia gave her younger relative a huge wave as they left the service. Zara and Mike Tyndall's eldest daughter was captured excitedly waving at her cousin as she walked away and a smile as they made eye contact. It lightened the mood a little on such a solemn occasion. Charlotte, Mia and their siblings have all been pictured together at events in the past with Prince William seemingly having a close relationship with his cousin Zara. Mia, who is Princess Anne's granddaughter, is now 8 years old, 2 years older than Princess Charlotte. The eldest daughter of Zara and Mike Tyndall, Mia was sat with her younger sister Lena, who is 3. Royal fans were delighted that the brief exchange between the cousins was caught on camera. One user wrote, oh that's just adorable. I love how close the Cambridges and Tyndalls are. While another said, adorable. Charlotte attended with her brother, Prince George, and the event marked their first major televised church service. Their younger brother Prince Louis stayed at home. The young royals were led at the service by the Queen who arrived at Westminster Abbey arm in arm with her son Prince Andrew to pay a final tribute to her beloved husband Prince Philip, despite concerns she wouldn't be able to attend for health reasons. The occasion gave the youngest generation of royals a chance to remember their much-loved great-grandfather after they were unable to attend his funeral due to COVID-19 restrictions. The youngest attendee at last year's service was Prince Edward and the Countess of Wessex's son James, Viscount Seven, who was 13 at the time. George, who will one day be monarch, and Charlotte's appearance marks a key moment in their public lives, being the first major televised church service they have attended. Westminster Abbey is a focal point for royal celebrations, coronations, commemorations and funerals, and is likely to serve as such for the siblings in the future. While Mia Tyndall, the 8-year-old daughter Zara and Mike Tyndall, showed some heartwarming familiar love she looked very smart wearing an immaculate navy coat dress and hairband as she arrived holding her parents' hands. But the most notable absences from the day was Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The couple and their children Archie and Lilibet stayed at home in California due to security concerns. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are in the middle of a legal dispute over the security available to them when they're visiting the UK. Until it's resolved, Prince Harry has said that he is unable to return home. Thank you for watching our latest video about the royal family. We always try to regularly update the latest news videos about the British royal family to meet your requirements. Our channel always has an objective, multi-dimensional view of the news. My main goal is just to entertain people. Hope you enjoy this news. If you have any questions or requests about content to watch, please leave a comment below this video of us.